Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different, but before we get into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notifications. Now, I'm going to be doing a story time while I do my hair. I will do an in-depth video on how I do my lace. Um, I'll be all over the place when I do my lace fronts, but it's okay. That's okay. Um, so yeah, this is just gonna be a story time at the time I got played by somebody that had a girlfriend. And she tried to disrespect me. Anyways, so um let's see what grade this was. This was my junior year. Hold on. I'm back. So basically this was my uh, this was my junior year of high school. So I'm not gonna say his name, but so we're gonna call him Phil. Me and Phil, I had saw Phil on that's such an interesting name, Phil. I had saw him on one of my friends Snapchat story, right? And you know, I thought go. Oh my. Anyway, I thought you know he was really like you know, he was he was cute. Um, hold on, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to pick up the little pieces of her. That just felt like it needed to get stuck on my forehead. Um, yeah, Phil, Phil was cute. I saw him on one of my bros Snapchat stories. And, you know, I stood up like, who's that? Where he from? Give me his digits. What's his name? Give me all the information I need to know. So, he gave me everything. But he left out the part that he had a girlfriend. Lord Jesus, he left out the part that he had a girlfriend, so, right, probably, this happened in the summertime, but, oh, where is my brush, am I blind, oh, where the makeup, oh, something's gonna work, um, so, that happened in the summer, so then, come time to go back to school to start my actual junior year. Now, we're not going to leave out the fact that he was a little younger than me. Not really. He just a year younger than me. But he was also in a grade under me. He was a sophomore while I was a whole junior. I know that sounds like so bad, but everyone goes through it. He was a sophomore while I was a junior. And he was just too cute to pass up. He wasn't no younger than me. He was just a year behind me. So when I was 17, he was 16. When I was 18, he was 17. I'm 20. Now he's 19. Yada, yada, yada type stuff. So, um, what you would call it? He came to my school. Like, he was the new student at my school. And I'm, like, looking at him like, I know him. Where do I know him from? Like, I couldn't put my finger on it. So I asked one of my friends, I'm like, yo, what is his name? And they told me his name instantly clicked. Like, oh, I know him. You know, I tried to I tried to, you know, talk to him or whatever. So when I found out who he was, I was so excited. Like, I'm not gonna say like I was excited, like, oh my god. But no, like Girl, I was excited because I wanted to meet him and he lived a little bit farther than where I lived. So, I had walked past him, right? And I heard that he called me cute. So, I'm like, okay, okay. I didn't even do nothing. I just literally walked past him. Well, I knew what I was doing when I walked past him, but I literally just scrolled on by. It's literally all I did. Oh, my hair is nappy right here. <laughs> That's why the part won't come out. Um. So, 
I'm like, okay, he noticed me for, oh my God, my hair is really happy right here. I'll be right back. Okay, so we back. I had to try and, cause I guess last night I was, I slept really, really good and I had the elastic band on and it was too tight. It was pushing in the back of like my neck and it, 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 it was hurting. So I had to take it off and then I took off, I took off my whole scarf and then never put it back on. When I say I woke up with so many mats in my hair this morning, mats, mats, like so many. But um, yeah, back to the story. So yeah, I didn't really do nothing, but I thought, you know, he was real cute. So we have followed each other on Snapchat. I don't know who found who. I think he found me. Or I, I think I found him and I added him. And I don't know if y'all did this. This is more like a my generation question. But like, you know, you like somebody and you send them streaks. Making it seem like you sent it to everybody. But you really just sent it to that one person. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. I pretended like I sent it streaks to a whole bunch of people, but I really only sent it to him. Um, and you know, it got a conversation started. So that's it. It, it did. It's new. It knew its purpose. So we started talking, having a conversation, or whatever, getting to know each other. He asked me, "How did I know his brother?" Yada yada yada. All that, all that fun stuff. All that fun stuff. Simple conversation, nothing too much. Um, I'm just putting this in a ponytail because it's in my way. Don't mind my ponytail holder either. Um, but yeah, we just got to know each other a bit. And uh, then, you know, the next couple times we saw each other at school, you know, I told him, like, you know, don't be afraid to, like, say hey or whatever. Because I'm not going to be. I'm just not one of those people. I'm just not one of them females. I think these people are like, cute. I get that from my mama and my grandma. So, um, what you gonna call it? So, you know, cool kicking it. We texted a lot, yada, yada, yada. I think a month goes by and at this point, like we're actually talking. Like, like everybody knows, like we're actually talking. So it was just this one day. I followed this girl. We gonna call her T. I followed this girl and I saw her post her best friend, right? And her best friend was, you know, cuddled up with some dude. So I'm looking at the video like, the dude was him, right? The dude was him and I was like, hold on, is this old? Like, like, who is this? Or whatever, right? So I slide up, just play it cool. I'm like, oh, he cute, yada, yada, yada. And she was like, yeah, that's my brother, but he got a girlfriend. So I'm like, he got a girlfriend. I'm like, is that her? I don't really remember, like, word for word how the conversation went. It basically just went to, like, her telling me that, like, that was his girlfriend. And, like, it wasn't an old video. Like, that was literally from that day. Mind you, when we got out of school, he had called me and he was telling me that he was going to go somewhere with his bro. And I just, okay, cool beans. Like, I don't care a go. So, come to find out, he went to go see that girl. So, I'm like, how long have you been dating? And she was like, oh, for almost a year. I was just being the apple that just fell far from the tree because... I didn't even know. Like, I knew the girl. Like, the girl, she used to slide up on my post all the time. Like, with hard eyes and stuff like that. And call me pretty. And stuff like that. So, I'm confused. So, I'm like, okay. I didn't say nothing else to her. I just, okay. Cool beans. So, I waited for him to call me. Because he always regularly called me. So, instantly get on the phone. I was like, I got to ask you something. So I'm like, where'd you go today? He was like, oh, I told you, like, 
I went to my bro house. I'm like, is your bro a Leo? Like, like what it is. And he was like, what you mean? Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, do you have a girlfriend? Like, yes or no? And then he just got quiet. He was like, oh, I was going to tell you, yada, yada, yada. Like, we just got back together. I instantly, like, literally, like, just hung up on him. Because it's like, Bubble, you kind of, like, just embarrassed me. Because I'm thinking, like, I'm not the type of person to get with somebody else's man. Like, I'm not a home record. Like, I don't, I don't do stuff like that. I wasn't raised like that. So, I'm not going to do that. Right, so we ended up stopped talking for like a week. It didn't last very long. Um, we ended up stopped talking for like a week, and then after that week was up, I don't even remember how we got back to talking, but somehow we was back to talking, and we was on great terms. Like when I say great terms, I mean like great terms like falling asleep on the phone every night terms like we was back to our regular regular us so what started the beef between me and her was exactly this right it was just okay so like i said everybody knew we was talking you will always see us in the hallway together. I would always have on his jacket. We was always walking together, going to class, just walking in the hallways. Security guards knew we was talking. Like, everybody knew. If you didn't know, clearly you're just stupid and naive. So, I'm guessing everybody also knew that he was dating somebody. She was very known, like everybody knew her, everybody knew me. So it was just like, it looked like I was messing with somebody else's boyfriend. I mean, the way it looked and sound, like yes, I was, but I didn't know. And I think he like talked his way back into talking to me because I don't, is this on? What's on 500? Why is it not hot, hot? Okay, maybe if, um, why am I complaining? Because I don't want to burn myself. So, yeah, stop complaining. Shut up. Um, so, I just, I don't even remember how he sweet-talked his way back into talking to me. But, I know I probably shouldn't be combing my hair out with a comb. But, it's okay. It's okay. It gets the job done, so it's okay. And it don't take out too much hair, so it's, it's, it's okay. Don't do what I do, or you can, but don't do as rough as I do. I buy a new, a new wig almost every month, so don't do what I do, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we're back to talking or whatever, and I probably just skipped like a whole lot, but I think we were talking for probably like a good four or five months by now. Yeah, a good four to five months by now. So this girl that we were both friends with, she invited both of us to her sweet 16. And at this point, I think we decided to just like be on the down low, but it wasn't down low enough because when we showed up to the sweet 16, he came with his bros. Technically, we pulled out at the same time. Like, when I say we pulled up literally at the same time, like, I literally, like, I legitimately mean we pulled up at the same time. Like, my dad and mom dropped me off at the same time. It wasn't even planned. Like, sorry, we're supposed to be keeping it on the down low. And you want to pop up here when I pop up. Like, no. So, I walk in. I go sit with my friends. He walk in, he go sit with who he came with, right? So, you know, the whole part with her coming out in her, you know, outfit for, you know how Sweet 16 work? I don't know. I didn't have one. But you know how they, you know, first come out in their little outfit, or their, their big poofy dress or whatever. So she had already did that part. So after that part, I'm looking at him from the side of the room, and I told him, come here. 
So he instantly got up, came, sat right next to me. Boom. That happened. So then, after that, you know, we chilling. Like, we chilling, chilling. Like, cool, kicking him out of our business, talking, making videos, taking pictures, all that good stuff. You know, having a great time before it was interrupted. So this girl that I did not like, I couldn't stand her. I, I, I still don't like her to this day. So she makes it her business to take a video of us. She wasn't slick about it at all. Like she literally stood behind us, took a video and then sent it to the quote unquote girlfriend. So I'm like, Okay, that's weird. At the time, I didn't, like, really pay any attention to that. Like, she did that. But then literally not even, like, 20 minutes later, the girl who was his quote-unquote girlfriend texted me. And she was like, I don't care what he's telling you. He's not single. He's with me. Don't touch him. Yada, 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 yada. Saying all this bloody yada, 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 stuff that I don't care about. So instantly, I'm like, I thought y'all was in together. So he's like, can we go talk? Da, 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 da. I'm like, talk? What I look like? Talk about what? So he was like, can we go talk? And I'm like, about? And he was like, please. So I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. So I got up. Um, he grabbed my shoes. I got up and we went, we didn't go outside, but like how the kids think, yeah, how the Sweet 16 was set up, it was like, it wasn't like an outside, but it was like, you know, the walk-in area where everybody like had their jackets and other stuff over there in the little area. So we go over there, mind you, in this time and era of me being in high school, a lot of girls didn't like me. This, me messing with him, a lot of girls didn't like me because they thought I knew he had a girlfriend. They didn't like me because, my, when I say literally throughout my whole high school experience, all my drama was based around a dude. Like, they do liked me, but I didn't like them back. But they liked me, so the girl had the problem with me. <sighs> make it make sense. It, could, it never made sense to me. So, like I said, a lot of girls did not like me. So, we out there talking about the whole situation. And he was saying, I'm sorry, you got to deal with this. Yada, 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 yada. Just a whole bunch of stuff. So, I'm feeling a little better about the situation. Call me dumb because I was dumb. You can call it, call it what it is. Call me dumb. I don't care. Um, this girl thought it blowed up his phone. So I'm like, just answer it. Like, if y'all not together, why she calling? But then, you know, I was also just a dumb, stupid junior in high school. That's just what I was. I just didn't care about nobody feelings. Like, I can't tell you how many girls wanted to fight me in high school. But never did. Girl. Um, well, actually, I've been in almost like two fights, two, but yeah, um, she was calling him so that his bro came out and he was like, he was like, bro, answer this. So his bro answered it, and I don't know what his bro said to her, but he basically got her off the phone and he got her to stop calling him. So I don't feel like doing nothing else in my hair. Because I got work tomorrow. I don't even feel like laying no baby oils. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just let this be the end of this hair part. But yeah, so he was, um, no, I got to lay this part back down. So I'm not done yet. But so somehow he got her to get off of the phone. And that happened. And, you know, we was cool the rest of the night. I went home and I went home. He went home and he went home. So then, I'll say a couple times, me and the girl went back and forth in text messages. Now, like I said, I'm not the one to break up a happy home. But 
it was just this one argument we had, bro. And the girl I was best friends with at the time, she helped me with the argument. And basically the girl, girlfriend, she said that she wanted to spit on my mother. Once she said that, I just, all respect for your relationship that I didn't even know he was in is out the door. I don't care about it no more. I don't care about your feelings anymore. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. You live here, I live here, he live here. You only see him 98% of the time. I'm just kidding. You only see him 2% of the time. So, what it is and what it ain't. But that's besides the point. Um, but that's just when all respect for me, for her, just went out the door. I just did not care anymore. So then after that, after she said what she said, I still continued talking to him. She still continued to say what she wanted to say. I just blocked her on Instagram, blocked her on Snapchat. <sighs> he wasn't the best either. He used to lie to me about where he was going. He used to say, oh, all I want is you. You know the little lines boys be playing. And the crazy part about it is I literally just stopped talking to him. We weren't like talking, talking, but I literally just stopped talking to him like a couple months ago. This was my, this situation happened my junior year. And I just stopped talking to him completely full on for the rest of my life a few months ago. Probably like two, three months ago. Jada. Anyways, he was a real big manipulator. He knew what to say to get him out of situations. So, he played the heck out of me, bro. So, there was this one day, bro. We had a basketball game. And my sister, she's not my real sister, but she might as well be because I've known her for a long time. Um, She wanted me to stay after school with her for a basketball game. So, I'm like... Okay, I never really stayed for the basketball games unless, like, she wanted me to. Um, so, I'm like, ooh, I'm hungry. Y'all don't have my stomach. So, I'm like, okay, I'll stay. You know, I asked my mom and I asked my dad. Like, they said it was fine, yada, yada, yada. So, I stay for the game. And I specifically asked to stay for this game because this girl, my parents don't know this, but all right. Um, yeah. So I specifically asked to stay for this game because this girl was talking all this smack and she was arguing with me, talking about, oh, I'm gonna pull up at the game, run me my rounds, yada, 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 yada. Right. So I'm like, I'm staying for this game. If my parents say no, I'm gonna try to convince them to let me stay because I just, I wanna see what she's about. I wanna see. If she all talk, like, I want to see what she was about. But I'm like, cool. Quit. So, he comes to the game with his posse posse. I'm with my sister or whatever. Her name is Lexi. I can say her name because that's my sister. That's my ride or die. That's not my blood. But, yeah. So, I'm with her. Everybody knew she was coming to the game. To shoot her rounds. Everybody knew. So, it took her... Darn near the whole game to come. Bro, she literally came like the last 20 minutes of the game. I'm like, wait. So when she come in, right? Everybody looking at me. I'm looking at them. You see what I see? I see what you see. What's gonna happen? I don't know. So my brother, my brother who I've known since we were in like middle school, he was sitting in front of me and Lexi, right? He was sitting in front of us. And dad was also her best friend, her boy best friend. But he's my brother. I know him first. So, anyways, yeah, he was sitting in front of us. She come up the bleachers. She hugs him. She looks at me. I look at her. She kept it pushing. Whoa, dead past me, bro. Dead past me, bro. She walked dead past me. And she went up to the bleachers with him. He was like on the other side. Like we was on the same side, but he was all the way down there, all the way at the top with his people or whatever, right? So she go up there, she kissed him, yada, yada, yada. I'm laughing because it's funny. Cause it's funny. He was just on me. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm really not that type of person, but it was just funny to me. So I'm like, okay, cool. 
So me and Lacey, we go to the bathroom. We go to the concession stand. I know everybody sees us leave. I know she's seen us leave. But did she do anything? No. So then after that, right? After that, right? I see all of them. Like when I say all of them, like him, her, his whole posse, her whole posse that she came with. She came with this big girl, right? At the time, I wasn't really best friends with the girl that I've been best friends with since like sophomore year. I wasn't best friends with her. But she was at the game and she saw what I saw. And she told me like later on as we became cool again, that she's like, you know, if a fight would have worked out, she would have jumped in because regardless of us not being cool, at one point in time we was and we was like this. So you're not gonna touch my best friend because I'm poor. Anyways. Anyways, but yeah, they all leave. So my dad came to this game actually because he wanted to see the end of it. And he was sitting like on the opposite side, right? He was sitting over there. So he tells me like, are you ready? I'm like, okay. He said he was gonna meet me at the truck, yada, yada, yada. So Lexi walks out with me, right? We walk into the door, the the gym door to leave. We walk into the door, right? This girl walks up to me and she was like, so you be talking to my boyfriend? Mind you, I was on the phone with my dad. So I'm like, don't interrupt. Like, bro, I'm on the phone with my dad, right? She walk up to me. So you be talking to my boyfriend, you got beef with me? I literally did this. I kid you not. Oh, everything I love. I literally did this and kept it pushing. If Shorty really had animosity, she would have grabbed my hair. She would have did something. You came to my school to fight me about a boy who's playing you and me. I hate females like that. Like, why can't we come together? Why can't we come together and solve the problem together? He's playing you, lying to you, cheating on you, playing me, lying to me. Like, make it make sense. So she walks out. Mind you, everybody was waiting for a fight, and a fight did not break out that day. After that, girls still was arguing with me on Instagram, on Snapchat, yada, yada, yada. It was one day, I don't really remember how it happened but she came to her senses and we had a real heart to heart conversation about how you know it's not my fault it's not her fault he lied to me he lied to you so why are we going back and forth with each other he lied to you and he lied to me he's the cause of this problem make it make sense so back to him he's still lying still manipulating still playing the heck out of me like i'm a liar or well, not like i'm a liar but you know he's a liar He's a liar. Don't let a man manipulate you. Don't do it. Pay attention to the signs. <laughs> but, yeah. And I still got played by him a couple more times with a whole other girl. But we're not going to get into that. But let's just say, like, I really got played, like, really bad to the point where, like, I had to fight somebody. But I didn't. Yeah, but I didn't. Because that's just not who I am. If you touch me first, that's different. But me initiating the fight, that's just not who I am. My mom likes to laugh at me because I say I'm a lover, not a fighter. But that's really what I am. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I don't do that fighting stuff. Like, I don't go to fighting when I'm arguing with somebody. Like, oh, let's go do this. Say that I meet me outside on this day. That's not my first option. If you want to fight me, I'm going to come around you. You throw the first hit. That's on that. Like, it's just gonna happen. I can't do nothing. I'm not gonna sit there and just let you beat me up. Like, no. But that was the time I got played. I got played by him for like a year. I got played by him for like a year, almost two years until I met my boyfriend, who's currently my ex boyfriend. So then after me and him broke up, I let him back in my life. And then he did it again. He did it again, Craig. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. It was kind of all over the place. I hope you kept up. I hope you kept up. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the story time about the time that I got played. And the girlfriend wanted to fight me. 
and she didn't have the balls to. But it's okay. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notification so you know when I post videos. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, babes.